Hello and welcome back to Outer Worlds. Maybe we should uh, start uh, doing some of the quests uh, we're picking up. And by the way, Monarch is a pretty huge place. Look at this. It's probably the biggest map uh, yet. Yeah, I need to get her some pills, but also we need to explore more of this place. Monarch. That was Ter 1 at one point. And it got renamed and abandoned. And now... This seems like a, a very promising place. But of course, now it's getting uh, torpedoed by the other corporations. Monarch Stellar. What's over here? Wouldn't mind smelling like Saltuna if we could sell more of it. Okay. Well, that's fair enough. Like, even if I could uh, transport some Saltuna out of here, uh, that wouldn't be, uh, like a... Like a permanent solution, by any means. You can only do so much. Also, the transport ships can, can take way more than my, my tiny, tiny... I don't even know how I classify my ship type can take. But it's mostly like a personal ship, like... It's not meant to... It's it's meant to be good for like half a dozen people. So... With maybe like a... Maybe in a car. In the cargo bay. And that's it. The cargo bay is pretty limited. Also we got some cows there. That I got no explanation to. Who put the car cows there? Oh, I can, we can go to the ruins. Reno... Bloody note. Broken Tusbow stick. Heading back. I, I I can't uh scrap it while I'm stealing. I can only take it. Do I want to head into the sewers? By now, Monarch Stellar. They seem to having uh, seem to be selling different gear. It seems like Rizos are. Selling the best gear. Not much here. So this is the factory with one vending machine that we checked out. We can also go down into the sewers. The thing is, how big is that? Let's check. It's not necessarily huge. Could be just like a small area. But it's a little odd that it, it leads to a different area. So that kind of makes me think that it's probably going to be pretty big. What? Oh. Oh, this just got me out of. Monarch. Okay. Well, I don't want to get out of uh, Monarch just yet. So maybe we'll do that some other time. But I just want to explore the city. I'm calling it city, but... Doesn't matter what we call it. We can call it city. Velma seem out of sorts to you? It's a... Uh, Maybe a small settlement with uh, a space dock. If Velma's capable of running the warehouse, she can certainly pick up her own caffeinoid. Don't be so hard on her. With Brax missing, she's working doubles and needs a little edge. Very well, dearie. But you stop by any time you like. Hmm? Thanks, I'll, uh, I'll keep that in mind. Hello, dearie. Why, I don't believe I've seen you before. And with sweet cheeks like those, I'd remember. 
This is just weird. Like the bedside manner, lady. <laughs> well, it's so rare I get the pleasure of new company. What can Auntie Abigail do for you? I've been asked to pick up uh, a caffeinoid supplement. And what a helpful young lady you are. Nothing like a little pill to liven up the spirits. Whiskey helps, too. Please leave medical advice to the professionals. <laughs> now, dearie, who's this pickup for? Ah, uh, the pills are for me. I'm so sorry, but with the iconoclasts and the marauder filth chasing away what little trade we get, I'm afraid I have to reserve my supply for Stellar Bay residents. Our reserves have gotten so low, I've even had to start locking the supply room upstairs. Isn't it a shame what some people will do to get a little extra? You don't give five finger discounts, auntie. <laughs> oh man, you can't trust people these days. Oh, that's just awful. Isn't it just? I'd make an exception for you if I could, my little cherub. Is there anyone else needing a special pickup from Auntie Abigail? Um, uh, maybe Nyoka. Oh. Her. It's none of my business, but I have told her Dr. Williams would bump up her monthly allotment if only she'd join MSI. Contribute like the rest of us. Now I've gone and said too much. <laughs> and you know me, dearie. I don't like to pry. Yeah, I, I, I know that. Doesn't anyone else in Monarch have caffeinoid? If so, I would love to know where. Sublight supplies don't come cheap. I'd hope not. Fleecing's the mark of a real professional. Believe me, there's nothing I'd love better than to help you. <laughs> but there's not much I can do. Dr. Williams managed the town's allotments from his terminal upstairs. Even I can't access them. I thought you were in charge around here, Auntie. You sure ought to be. Oh, you flatter an old woman. Me, I'm just here to be a pretty face for the customers. And to keep an extra key to the supply room for all the times Dr. Williams misplaced oh my his. God. Forgetful fellow, eh? So you just told me to steal an extra dose upstairs and I should pickpocket you as well. Careless experimentation with medicinal substances does take its toll, eventually. But until then, it's lots of fun. Episodic pharmacological delirium is no laughing matter, young lady. I guess I have to figure this out on my own. Chin up, dearie. Oh, I'm, don't worry about me. Inside voices. Cold door. So it seems like there's no chance we get busted if we try to lockpick from the back. I mean, uh, the uh, pickpocket from the back. What am I saying? Oh, you even have a back door? Wow. You're really ready for someone to s steal from you. Uh, this is all a trap. I don't have hack 55. Return to root. Can I boost my hack? Logan as William. I don't have enough hack. Why not? Shoot, though. Hack is 50. 
Oh, that's not a tech skill. No, that's a stout skill. No bad. Uh, I guess... Okay, what am I supposed to do? Stout skill. Hmm. Can I boost that? Summary. Sneak. I want to get better at hacking, right? That's either intelligence or personality. So maybe if I drink a booze, I'm gonna be fine. Personality. Uh, drink that. Hack login as Williams. Patient records. Neoka. Medical engineer notes, liver damage, likely the result of prolonged alcoholism, attitude problems, likely the result of prolonged alcoholism, frequent social withdrawal, likely the result of prolonged alcoholism, increase caffeinoid allotment, let's do that. Warning, caffeinoid storage is applying, is approaching critical levels. Resupply recommended. Light. I'm not found. Let's go back to root. Right, data storage. Uh, I don't know if I want to read all of this. Edward. Right, let's go back. Return to root. And, uh, wow. Um, maybe go like that. Just dialogue skills. So can I go back downstairs <laughs> and ask for more stuff? Caffeinoid. 22,000 XP. We're stealing some uh, caffeinoids. Also, I would like more caffeinoids. Come to share a secret with Auntie Abigail. Come to share a She's secret. not even having it. <laughs> no, no. She's not even uh, talking to me. <laughs> I was kind of hoping that uh, the increased uh, supply will allow me to ask for an extra. Oh, another bar? Left field, toss ball, betting. Wow. What's going on here, Neil? Ooh, you're the new face. Wow, you must be up on all the latest toss ball games. So who do you follow? Wait, don't tell me. You look like a Hammersmith Thunder fan. No, Glacial Age Mammoths. Lie. I play for Aunt Cleo's darlings. Don't you recognize me? Oh shit, this is good stuff. I'd heard they'd gotten a new hacker. Is that why everyone's making such a fuss about you? But what are you doing on Monarch? Uh, this is a part of a goodwill tour of Halcyon. We're meeting our fans across the colony. <laughs> Maybe we're not so isolated as I thought. So, what can I do for you? Uh, you said you were having trouble receiving the Tossball game transmission. Graham's always filling the airwaves with this propaganda. Like it's done him any good. All it means is the Tossball games get to us in fragments. Makes them real hard to watch. That's it? I just lie for no reason. I just keep lying. I'm a compulsive liar. If it liar. isn't the famous hacker, enjoying Stellar Bay. I love it. What can I do for you? I don't think you can do a damn thing. Let's go. 
constable? Oh. possible to get him from the back? Hmm. With the double letters. Oh crap. Plasma carbine. Pocket watch. Oh, sorry about that. That's it? Just get one pistol? Hmm. Alright, fair enough. I kind of suspect that it's gonna be maybe more than this. I just jump down. So apparently... We can leave the town over here and here. We can look around here, but we can only get into these two buildings. And this also leaves the town. There's a sewer entrance here. That's not marked on the map whatsoever. So so that might be the place we leave the town. Anyway. Check out this building first that doesn't have a sign on it. Someone Another boar. Who was killed? I think I'm gonna be sick. Uh, put yourself together and tell me what happened. I clean the apartments while everyone's at work. I've seen all sorts of messes, but this... If you're going into the apartments, do not go into the lower one on the right. That's where the body is. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go contemplate a hot shower. Ah, oh, he just told me where to go, but let's just go into this place first. Ooh. Board approved. Board sponsored. Halcyon. Seems a bit meh. Alright. Everett Grill. Whoa, by the stars, my poor heart. I just about pissed my jumpsuit. Why are you so jumpy, mate? Get a grip, fella. Why wouldn't you admit that? Why would you admit that to anyone? Why wouldn't he? It's fine. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. Most people don't. Besides, this place is enough to try anyone's nerves. How's that? Where should I begin? With the oversized mantisaurs? Or perhaps the rap spewing acid at our walls? The board was right. This place isn't fit for human habitation. And I was a fool for staying. Oh, my engineer looking to get a dust pack casserole. Can you cook one of those? That was a real popular meal 10, 20 years back, before the board tucked tail and ran. These days, everybody's had a belly full of salt tuna. They all want borst, and the mushrooms, well, not many venture out of town, what with the monsters hereabouts. I can whip one up for you, but it'll cost. Here's a menu. How much is oh, it gonna cost? Yikes. I can't cover this much, Captain. It's on me. What the fuck? 3,000 bits? You take me for a damn idiot? No damn caster is worth that much. Try again, try harder. What? 
No, Captain, I, I don't want you to do it this way. It's all right, miss. I'm a coward at heart. Made that clear from the outset. Look, Captain, this is the best I can do without putting myself out of business. Two thousand bits for the casserole. I I'm sorry, I... Uh, come on, he was obviously ripping us off. Three thousand bits for a casserole? I'm glad you see saw reason. Two thousand bits is uh, much more reasonable. It's not, but I, I I'm gonna pay it. I'm mighty glad you reckon so. This is gonna take about an hour in the oven. Nothing I can do to speed it. That's just how cooking works. There we are. Now, if you don't mind, I really need to take a leak. My belly's gurgling just to smell it, Mr. Raymond. Thank you so much. A pleasure to help such a charming young lady. You're a gentle soul, miss. Be careful with this one, all right? She's kind of a brute. Oh, gosh. My tongue's rumbling just smelling that casserole. Oh, yeah. 2,000 bits. Like, what the fuck, mate? This... I bought these two armors, top tier armors, plus like helmets, like, I can arm the, uh, like a whole squad with that amount of bits. Oh, man. Red Red Grill? Good day to you. Uh, why are you named if you just say nothing? That guy's making a killing. Got it. Heads down. You know, squad. T plan two. Plan B. We went to some alien planets. Uh, just did like life-threatening mission, and we got paid like 1,500 bits for that. You know what we should have done? Cook some casseroles. So much better. I guess that's it. And we managed to get the casserole. That's a companion quest. We gotta find the Sweetheart Cakes. Old Rizzo's facility in Cascadia on Monarch. Track down Reginald uh, Shaney. We're not getting the other companion quests. Which is concerning. Getting to the arms building. That's a faction quest. Meet with Caprain. I, I, I need to list it by location. Return to Neoka with the Caffeinoid. That's the Groundbreaker. I just get so many quests at the same time. And I, I think listing by location is just uh, a little bit easier. Although, this definitely has an advantage as well. Like, you see what's the main quest, side quest, uh, side quest again, for some reason. And faction quest. But is this side quest based on location? Okay. Tucker Needlum in Amber Heights. Okay, we can talk to Velma, for example. Oh yeah, let's go to Velma. Yeah, what we should do, I think, is that I'm just explore the place once, then we focus on one quest at a time. Many times I just try to do all quests on the same place, and uh, I, I think that's that's fine. And also, I'm a little bit encouraged to do everything at the same time, because uh, it would just uh, include a lot of leg leg work. If I just if I was doing uh, everything b one by one. Uh, it would work a little better if you had fast you travel go. for that. Look, you can tell Catherine the new shipment will be ready when it's ready, all right? She's welcome to come up here and pack boxes herself if she's in such a hurry. Uh, 
<laughs> Catherine said she'd shove you in a box if you keep running your yap like that. Did she now? Well, I can see I was mistaken. Because if Catherine really had sent you, there'd be a lot more expletives in your message. I hope you can forgive my temper. This job has been running me <laughs> ragged lately. First, my autoloader foreman stages a walkout, and now my chief pescatological health manager is missing. Your chief what? Braxton. He's in charge of getting the fish fat, but also making sure they don't get too many tumors. He's a real wizard with pharmaceuticals, but he has creative notions of working hours. Comes with living in a free colony, I guess. Now come back eventually. We can't constrain a person's freedom. Don't you have rules about that sort of thing? We're not keen on rules for rules sake around here. Means Braxton skips work sometimes, but it also means no company boss is telling me when I can take a shit. <laughs> Since you don't seem to be constrained yourself, maybe you could check up on him. He lives in the apartments. Okay. Tell him Velma said to get his lazy ass down here, or she might start noticing those extra drugs he's been taking from supply. <laughs> Something else on your mind? Wow. Playing it real fast and loose here. Uh, I'm here to talk about Grimm's poster. This again? I swear, this is the last time I contract for any special requests. You can tell Grimm his poster came in. You can also tell him I got a better offer for it. So now it's going to Nell. Mm -hmm. That about cover it? Wow. Who's Nell? I, I know who Nell is, actually. She runs the bedding parlor across the way. Nice professional lady. She asked me about the poster once. Just once. Made a real generous offer, too. So it's about money. Damn right it is. You still have a poster, right? It's staying locked up in my office until Nell shows with her money. Didn't he pay for the, uh, the poster? No. I paid Sublight for it, so it's mine. And when Nell pays me for it, it'll be hers. Grimm may have asked for the poster, but it's not his until I take his money. I mean, I can't really argue with that. Surely we can work something out. Sure can. If you want to pay me more than Nell's offering. Work with me. I'm helping you find Braxton, aren't I? Sure. And once you finish helping me, then we can talk about the poster. All right, fair enough. Let's talk about something else. Fine by me. Oh, she's pretty practical. I, I can't fault her. Uh, uh, can we come to an arrangement? No, no, not, not about the poster. Let's talk about Caleb. Unless you're here to tell me he's agreed to do his job again? I've got nothing to say. Why can't you give him uh, his pay increase? I don't have the bits for it, plain and simple. Besides, if I make an exception for him, I gotta do the same for everyone. Caleb says he <clears throat> they need a raise to keep up with the prices around here. Tell him to complain to Catherine in Fallbrook, not me. Sublight's demanding more money for the same contracts, which means we're all in the same boat. If Caleb wants to keep this job, he'd better get back to it. I'm about ready to hire Sublight contractors at this rate. Wow. <laughs> Persuasion 100. Yeah, that's kind of hard to pull off. Sanjay's gonna notice your shortfalls before long, and he will hold you responsible. Are you gonna are you willing to meet Caleb halfway? For running me ragged while he takes an extended leave at the bar? Not on your life. Uh, Sanjay's gonna notice your shortfalls before long, and he will hold you responsible. Maybe so, but I bet you Caleb runs out of bits first. Then he'll have to come back. He says he's got a stash to tide his crew over. Could be he's all talk, but if the money's real, I bet you he keeps it at home. Near the diner. 
You'd steal from your own people? That's low, ma'am. That's business. Someone's got to keep the lights on. Wow, Persuasion 100. Let's talk about something else. Fine by me. I'm not sure we could reach that. We can actually maybe come close to that. We might be able to come close to that. Maybe even reach that with two specific companions. Felix and uh, Pavetti. You said Braxton had uh, been stealing drugs? Stealing such a nasty word. Let's call it skimming. And yeah, let's just say I've noticed the sterile biotics we used for the fish would get used a little faster on Braxton shifts. Awfully nice of you to not see anything. We're not like those corporate towns where you get fined for sleeping on the wrong side of the bed. Besides, the Spacer's Choice stuff we use is cheap enough. And Braxton knows how to get the Saltuna, fat and mostly tumor free. Who's this? Catherine, you mentioned when I first came in here. Sublight boss out of Fallbrook. Handles most goods that come in or out of Stellar Bay. Has a mouth like a ground six spacer. Alright, let's talk later. So apparently I can steal the poster from her. It's on the second floor. She told me. Which is just the odd things to say to people. How do I get to the second floor though? Oh, I see. What's with all these people telling me to steal their stuff? <sighs> Come no in. I'll head over. Stay out. Don't stand in the doorway. Ooh, that's kind of tricky. Wait. I'm suffering penalties. I'm sleepy. Nice going. Sign toss ball boost. That's crap. Level 16. Let's see what we can do. Skills and perks. Actually, I might have to consider uh, my options here quite a bit because I don't know what to level up. I might level up my determination, just to give my companions more health. I'm not sure what we need here. Persuasion is something... Silver Tongue, Reed's Hat... Maybe the bonuses. But I would need to go up... At least to 60. Maybe 70. If I'm really losing persuasion checks, then... Like, Parvati is giving me 23. Um, that's pretty good. And also, I'm um, decent at lying. I'm not sure if we really need, like, this much persuasion. I don't know. Obviously, we're not gonna need h higher than 100. With Felix, I think I'm kinda close. Long guns is at 60. We don't use melee or defense. I'm kind of at the point where we kind of have everything we we want. I can up hacking to 60. Hack automatic mechanicals, turn them off for 3 seconds. That's completely useless, I believe. That's not something I'm interested in. Corrosive damage, and raid damage. Tinkering cost for silenced weapons is capped. I don't really tinker. Science weapons, actually I can just sell them. My companions kill an enemy, party gains critical chance. I might just go with determination here. So companions get more healing. I think that's sensible, but I'm not gonna go to 80. And we have a perk that I don't really know what to spend on. We can make the consumables lighter, but I think it's a lot more sensible to just to sell them from time to time. Movement. Yeah, we don't really care about this so much. 
Armor rating is, is very minor. Increasing the uh, walk speed. I don't know. I don't know what to go for. So we have to pick two more before we uh, reach the next level of perks. We can go for health restore per kill. I would actually prefer uh, utility here. And uh, that's not utility. Most of these are, are very uh, combat related. Chance to reset the companion ability cooldown on each critical hit. When you critically hit a target, you have a chance to immediately reset cooldown of companion ability. I crit a lot. I have a weapon that has 60% chance of critting. So that's actually kind of good. Companion ability cooldowns for each of your kills. Okay, that's not really worth it. This is this is really good. So crit uh, resets the companion uh, skill cooldown, which would basically make them uh, reset. I think this should be good. We band of brothers. So this basically makes uh, companion skills. Uh, just like non-stop usable. Let's let's do that. We might go for like maybe harvester. Okay, what else we got here? Heavy ammo. Maybe some hacking. I still don't have enough <laughs> hacking. Mash random keys. I need to up my hacking. No, so now we got to the point of the game. Mind attributes. Where we really need to up our skills. Messages. about fishes, whatever. Let's go back. So, what is my active quest? Convince Velma to negotiate. Um, I can't. I don't have the persuasion for it. Like, I boosted my skills a little bit here. It, it's 90 now. Because of the caffeine drink. But if I drink another one, it's not, not good enough. Body attributes. Uh, can I just go for personality attributes? Maybe do a... No, not that. Personality attributes as well. If I drink this... Skills. 95 persuasion. I don't need to make my persuasion like insanely high, but putting it up to uh, 60 might be justified. I'm not sure how else we can boost it. I think this is it. I boosted my mind and personality, and there's no other way to do it other than uh, maybe considering some items, but I'm pretty sure that I'm already wearing all the dialogue skills items, so no. I think 60 is uh, what you want to aim for, usually, and you might be able to boost it uh, higher than that, but it's not possible right now. So where are we going? I can check on the end, but oh my god, look at how many missions we got. Passion pills. So let's just help Nioka for now. I just want to 
get rid of as many quests as possible. Seem to be getting along. Don't, don't make it small. When you say it like that, it sounds stupid. <laughs> Whoa, take it easy. Didn't realize you were so wrapped up. You're doing it again. Hey, Nyoka. Holy shit! Ah, the charmer! Welcome back. Drink, chat, or business. I have the All feeling. The above? I have a feeling that you're not very serious about sobering up. I've got your magic pills. And I very much doubt that they're gonna make you sober. I've got your magic pills. These things are dangerous, you know. Says someone who's never had any fun. Exactly. See, I'm glad someone on your crew's got some sensi sensible, got her head on straight. Whew, that hits the spot right in the, uh, oh, no, there it is. There it is. Yes, we're in business. Let's go. That was fast. I got to see about stalking some on the ship. You be careful. The first one's free. After that, they'll offer you gainful employment. Not looking for company on the road. Just tell me how to reach the information broker. I'm uh, glad to have you. Great. Where to? Let's find the information broker. Oh, Hiram? I ain't checked in on that man in an age. He's running the giant radio tower we lovingly call Devil's Peak. We'll be going south and west. Mostly along the road till we're past Fallbrook. Out there, there's a western slope that'll lead us through some, uh, some fun. You like hunting, right? That's fun. If you're more of a spelunker, Rotting River will take you into the mountain caverns. We can discuss options when we get closer. That said, uh, three's already a crowd. I don't mind waiting somewhere until you got a spot open. Uh... I got a ship at Docking Bay, if you want to wait there. Uh, I would need to replace some armors, I believe. Maybe just send away Ali for now. Ali, wait on the ship. We need Nyoka help for now. Nyoka's help for now. I hope you like being part of our crew, Nyoka. We're real excited to have you. So you keep Monarch safe, huh? That's real honorable work, Miss Nyoka. Let's see what she can do. The fuck? That's a good weapon. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I suspected as much. Alright, you use that. Ah, uh, good at lying. Base health. Uh, maybe armor rating or range damage. Damage to creatures. I don't care about that. And maybe lying. So she just gives me lying points. Range damage. Uh, I don't care. Let's apply that. And we know that she helps me lie, sneak and medical. Okay. I don't really value sneaking that much. I'm fatigued. Oh, no, no. Monarch ain't safe, even with me around. I've just got intimate knowledge of its dangers and an abundance of fortitude. Right. Folks hire me because I know what you can shoot and what you ought to run from. That's a mistake you only get to make once. Let's see what else we can do. Speak with the information broker at Devil's Peak. Okay. Look for Tucker Needham in Amber Heights. That's... Those, those are all outside. Convince Velma to negotiate. Yeah. The plan B... I can just talk to people or steal their money. 
Can I just negotiate like with these guys? I hear you work. Why don't you grab a chair? Sit a spell and revel with us. Uh, let's talk about Velma. Sure thing. What did you want to discuss? Sanjar is going to fire Velma if you don't return to work. <laughs> I never meant to call for anyone's head on a pike. Velma's not my favorite person, but she ain't been cruel to us. Devil it all. Now you got me feeling sorry for her. Fine. I guess we'll go back to work to save Velma's job. We'll find a better time to negotiate our wages. Tell Velma not to worry. We'll look out for her. Aww. Nice. Inform Velma that the situation resolved. I did it. I suspected that, uh, or at least I, I suspect that, uh, she did not try to rip them off necessarily. But, uh, obviously the town is, uh, is struggling. <clears throat> I'd give you a friendlier welcome, but I'm up to my elbows and salt tuna guts. We're spatting your spirits, Velma. You notice my mood? I'm surprised you can see straight today. I could be seen triple and I'd still think you're being unkind. I just might find it funnier. Will you try wrangling half a ton of dead fish with decades old equipment and see what it does for your disposition? Anyway, what do you folks need? Uh, what? Let's talk about Caleb. Unless you're here to tell me he's agreed to do his job again, I've got nothing to say. That's exactly. What happened? I told him you were about to lose your job. He said he'd come back. Well, that's... awful nice of him. Sure wouldn't have expected that. Thanks for your help. You've gotten me out of a tight spot here. Take this for your efforts. Honest work deserves honest pay. Something else on your mind? You give me the money, but you don't give them money. I thought that maybe I'll be able to guilt trip you into giving them a raise. But it was a schlag. Oh, we can talk with Grim, and we're just trying to eliminate as many missions as possible. Hi, Grim. Have you had time to check on that poster yet? I keep wondering if it's come in. It did. Here is. Would you look at that? The Rizzo's logo is nice and bright, and you can still smell the ink on Mr. Holcomb's signature. I can't thank you enough. Still, you can have the bits I was going to spend at the bar this week. And you know what? Take my old toss ball blocker, too. Never get the chance to use it these days. Level up. Oh my god, 15,000? Toss ball blocker? Okay. So, I can consider leveling up my persuasion to 60. And I don't really want to push it past 60. But that my that would allow me to uh, pass some uh, speech checks. With the bonuses I got. Also, I have fatigue right now. Without the fatigue. Without the fatigue, it might be... Without the fatigue, we would have 86, and then I have the bonuses. It's it's very close to being enough, but I think pushing it up to 60, and also pushing up the hacking to hashing, hacking as well, might be okay. I might just go with like 55, 55, but that might be uh, stopping short. Science. So medical is not really used too much. Lockpick is is pretty important, and Parvati is uh, boosting it quite a bit. I don't care about that sneak. Persuasion. It's it's tough. Bonus support lie. I'm, I'm pretty good at lying apparently. Long guns. I think 60 is just good enough. 
hack. I don't I don't care about hacking that much. But it's uh one of the weakest weakest links now. I think the persuasion is mostly fine. I might just go like a 55-55. Even though we don't get the bonuses, but yeah, it, it's it should be fine. Engineering is okay. Science is maybe okay. I'm just gonna go 55-55 and maybe that's gonna be good enough. And apply that. So what else we got? Go to Braxton's apartment. Okay, so this is the guy that's probably died. At least uh, we know about the guy who's dead. What do you think of the unreliable Parvati? There's always something to fix. And it's neat working in the Aether. I always took Atmo for granted. Now, if I drill through the hole, we all suffocate. Exciting, you know? I, I'm i not sure I wanted to know that. Being in space sets me on edge enough. You know about stellar emissions? A actually, I probably shouldn't tell you about those. <laughs> I mean... Not unless you want to know how we're all likely to get spacers long. Right. Okay. When we get back to the ship, I'm drinking this conversation right out of my recollection. Ah, Nio Cop. Come on, being an alcoholist is not our personality. You know that. Steal that life machine gun mark do like that is just super must have and you're gonna use that <laughs> uh pff, i guess you use that but that, that seems okay i just pickpocket this woman she doesn't have much I guess the same thing she would have dropped if she got killed. I don't want to do that, of course. Cheaper discount. Cheaper... I don't know. There's, there's nothing here. Uh, 640... 41... Meh. Light armor. Like, I'm not sure why would I use light armor. I, I guess it's better for sneaking around. But uh, I'm not... Would you really believe in sneaking oh, sorry, around that much? Sorry, Just spooked me, was all. Uh -oh. Even Stellar Bay ain't safe these days. What's the world coming to? Oh, he's stealing his, uh, his uh, food and uh, money, of course. Silver tongue kit. I like that quite a bit. Uh, several ragged outfits, all of the same cut and color, were stuffed into the suitcase. So, he was planning some kind of escape. Whoever came here was not looking for change and what maybe we're looking for something because I find it hard to believe that this would be knocked over maybe though I, I can see like it, it seems like they had a bit of a scuffle but I don't think this was knocked over in the scuffle so seems like he was planning to leave town uh, a lot of things get Knocked over. And he's dead. What else we know? Oh, this is not Braxton. <laughs> oh. Tospo betting slip. This betting slip 
list some increasingly bold wagers, wagers made for a team called Mostly Colonist. It's from left field, uh, toss ball betting. Interesting. Maybe we should just check in on Braxton, who's uh, apparently living here. Braxton! Whatever you do, don't mention toss ball to Isaac. You'll never hear the end of it. Isaac? It's the guy that died. Okay, it's the guy who died. I don't think we can talk with the residents. I don't have time for this. Ah, uh, just close the door, okay? Moving. Come inside, girls. Lemon slap. Uh, hunting rifle ultra. What? But the DPS is so bad. I guess you can use it as a way to silently eliminate. can break down when we're stealing. That's uh I'm not sure that like there's a justification for that. Inferno sight. Doesn't feel like it. Laura. Okay. And dropping a care package off with the mothers uh, in the old ruin south of Stellar Bay. Be back soon, Laura. I know you're reading this. Stay out of my tanks. Okay, that's where Braxton is. Oh, you startled me. Don't sneak up on a person like that, huh? Uh, why is everyone in this town so jumpy? Jumpy? Who's jumpy? I'm not jumpy. That's it? Oh my god. So... Is it outside? Yeah. He's... He was doing a delivery outside. Investigate left field, toss ball betting. Uh, yeah, we'll be doing that. Now we can go for a drink. It doesn't really add to the challenge, frankly, but I don't, I don't necessarily mind it. We can definitely play without the supernova. Also, one thing that I would pr prefer is that we have a quick save anytime. Now I don't have quick save anytime. And uh, partially that's... Yeah, we just... Yeah, we, we would have to go back to the ship. I, I have to go back to the ship uh, to save. That's just how it works. And this would be especially annoying if you could like only play like a uh, shorter, like like half an hour, and you like go back to the ship every time, like even even middle of the mission, like you just can't, you just can't, and you have to go back to the damn ship. It it just takes you out of the adventure, I, I guess. So it's a bit lucky that I go for longer sessions here. So hey there. Now. If it isn't the famous hacker. Enjoying Stellar Bay? Oh, loving it. What can I do for you? I heard... I found this betting slip in a dead man's apartment. Any idea what might have happened to him? Poor Isaac. I was wondering why I hadn't seen him in a few days. I'd really like to help. Isaac was a sweet fellow, even if he did have terrible teeth. Cut to the chase. Do you know what... who did it or not? I'm listening. Right. So the thing with Isaac is he didn't know where to stop. He'd get stuck on something, and he just couldn't let it go. Sometimes he'd drink Purpleberry Punch by the leader. Other times he'd keep betting on a losing team. Started owing the wrong people money. So who did he owe? I don't know for sure, but I saw Elijah and his buddies pushing Isaac around. They're hooligans from Fallbrook. They sweep into town, drop supplies off behind the warehouse, and spend the rest of their stay getting rowdy over tossball games. They usually loiter in the alley behind the yacht club. They're not allowed in the bar anymore. I bet you anything Isaac ran into trouble with one of them. Thanks for the tip. 
Mr. Sanjar will be pleased to hear about it when you're done. I know he gets fed up with the Fallbrook bullies, but there's not much he can do. Investigate Elia and his gang. Space crime continuum. Meet Catherine. Okay. Let's let's look at these uh, bandits. I wonder sometimes what they're doing on other colonies. Uh-huh. Think they're watching the same serials, following the same toss ball game? I don't know what it is. <laughs> He's talking about another colony like it's some alternative reality. Used to be, I had to correct for a bit of leftward drag. Got used to standing just oh. so, and after a while, it put a thorn in my side, something awful. Hey, guys. Lately, though, it ain't pulling. I find my Berta. stance much improved. Berta. Oh, that's... Hey! What are you doing here? This is our secret alley. I see that. Berta already pissed by those crates to market. I like you guys already. I know you murdered Isaac. Listen, that purple tooth twerp had it coming. Not that anyone has proof. And not that it's any of your business. You really want to die. I find your tossball stick. This is all going to catch up with you, Elia. How? That was supposed to go out with the next batch of salt tuna. What are you suggesting, pal? You bullet people long enough. If you know what's good for you, you clear out and never come back. You finish. Leave Stellar Bay before people here run yacht on a rail. We, we can just kill them. I wanted you to know why I'm doing this. Let's kill them. Be careful, damn it. No! She died? When was the last time I saved? And uh, we're back. And uh, after the disastrous situation where I lost like one hour worth of progress, that I'm just not super comfortable with it because, you know, if I was playing the game somewhat differently then then that's more justifiable but if i'm just replaying the same thing and it's not even challenging i'm like it was just mostly talking and looting and looking for clues and i just have to replay that and that's kind of dumb and i feel like uh their decision uh, obsidian's decision uh we're not changing the difficulty i did consider changing the difficulty to hard which is i think would be totally fine but I don't think that's super justified. Uh, the only change we're gonna have is that I modded in a save game button. So this allows me to end the game anytime, just just do my own thing. And and I feel like uh, when I made my case for respec, when we saw the respec on the ship, I feel like a save game is like that times a hundred. Is that, you know, people should just save as many times as they like. If they want to uh, play the game super hardcore, that they never save. Or they want to uh, play the game... Uh, what, what, what the fuck they want? Like, there's just so many options to really list here. And I don't feel like... Because it just it, it would just lead to uh, metagaming. Because what I could have done, and should have done, if I, I'm actually open to saving the game... What I could have cheesed is that every time, like, I spent like 10 minutes, I would have just left uh, the town and came back and played with the autosave. But that would make no sense. That makes no sense for the story. Why would I just leave the place and come back just for save? Again, doesn't make sense in a case for a story. Like, imagine, like, trying to uh, tell this story to someone and you're like, then the hero left the town and came back, then went to fight again, then went for a, like a t talk, then left the town and came back again right away, like, what? Why the fuck is that happening? So again, you can't really put it into the narrative, and it just takes you out of the game. And quick save is, is just such a basic thing, I don't, I don't feel like it really takes out anybody of the game, so 
I, I don't really uh, see the advantage other than the ha harsher penalty for your actions. But that just encourages, as long as you're not playing with a, a hardcore a rule set, that everything happens, happens, character dies, game over, uh, companions die, game over. But that only makes sense if you're just not gonna reload the game if your character dies or anybody dies. That just only makes sense. And I suppose maybe some players want to play it like that, but I'm not. But I, I'm just uh, going on for too long here. <laughs> so that's going to be the only change. And I, I think this is super justified. And uh, we're still going to play with uh, Supernova. Although I don't feel like Supernova adds uh, like a crazy amount to the game. But I think it's fine. You know, it's fine. But the whole save limitation just doesn't add uh, to the challenge. It just adds, it doesn't really add to the challenge, honestly, because I could cheese it. I could cheese it so hard, but I, I was, I, I, I tried not to, obviously. I could just che cheese it by going back to the ship, you know, and honestly, uh, this, uh, the, the fact that you need to sleep and eat and, uh, and drink, that doesn't really matter, especially now that, you know, I can buy uh, drinks for like 10 bits, 10 bits, and I have... How many bits? 27,000. So, it it just doesn't even register. It's it's not a consideration at all. Early in the game, when I didn't have so many bits, I had like 50 bits, and uh, and the uh, the water was 50 bits. Like yeah, like it was a consideration, but at this point, it's not at all. So that's it. Uh, only change is that we can save. So yeah, that's it. Uh. I think I'm just gonna end it here, and uh, next time uh, we're gonna tackle the bandits. Until then. <laughs>